Hey guys, no fashion shoes here. Today, we're gonna talk about what's coming out for NCL and why the handle is going to make everything change. Let's get on with this video. Now, what we can expect for the handles, Buck and NCL model, is pretty much like Peter Sand, Scholar, and Nais. And Rusty, too. Don't make me forget him. Everything is pretty much gonna be like what they based the model and CGI series off. And from the way I've seen my Renee so far, which I'll do a review on him soon, I'm pretty sure they even go to Telly Flynn and get their modeling ideas from them. I just think N Scale to handle changes everything for Bachman's HO N Scale, the narrow gauge, I'm gonna call it narrow gauge range. This changes everything, because Sir Handel is the fourth engine, and this means they would have had done all of the main five characters, which only leaves Duncan. And Duncan's kind of the prevalent, well, the first six engines are the main important narrow gauge engines. So my question is, where do we go from there? And will we gain anything in the middle? This is what this video is about. Now, I do want to quickly touch on Sir Handel more. I honestly think Sir Handel is going to look amazing. I don't think they're going to use Skaloi's body or anything. They are going to make this as accurate as possible. So, they have said if they're going to make more engines and different engines, they're not going to use the same body shells and all that stuff. Buckman isn't like that, which I love. Sir Handel is going to be definitely brand new, brand new mold and all that stuff. So I can't wait for that. Let's talk about what else we could be getting. Now an engine I think we might get, and probably straight off the Duncan, or when Duncan comes out, is basically Smudger. Now, why would Bachman make Smudger? Smudger is not one of the main characters. Well actually, I also wouldn't be surprised if they ran this one out alongside Duke. They have them the main six, which wouldn't be surprised. They don't have anything else to do. They have to do Juke, right? Well, I see if they do Juke, they can also do Smudger. They can do Smudger whenever they want. And with the release of Yellow Reneus, Smudger is basically Reneus green. So Smudger would be a great example of them using what they did in the TV show in their own range. This would honestly be amazing, and I wouldn't pass out the opportunity not to get this. All they have to do is change up the face, but besides that, who cares about a couple of spills, right? One engine that definitely going to do off the Sir Handle is definitely Duncan. And there's no doubt about it that off the Sir Handle, Duncan's going to be made. Now, off the Duncan is matters in its own hands for Bachman. They will have, by then, a good range of engines, and hopefully... They have got a lot of rolling stuck out by then. But this is just amazing. I honestly think if Buckman keeps going the way that they're going with these N scale engines, I know PSN took a lot of time to come out. That was also due to COVID and all that stuff. And if they roll these guys out pretty nicely in every two years, hopefully we will have by 2032 basically all the N um, narrow gauge engines. Really, off the Duncan, it's only Juke, Smudger, Fearless Freddy, Mighty Mac, and I, yes, Millie, there's, oh, also Bertram, but there's, that's only six more, that's pretty much not that odd, um, Bertram is pretty much Juke, and Mighty Mac is double-sided engine. Thing. I really don't know what you call Mighty Mac, but still. Um, so yeah, it's not really that much molding and all that stuff or worries. Buckman's probably made something like them in the past, so you never know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. You guys have been amazing, and the spawn on this channel has been crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.